as of Friday made him ABC decided to cancel Speechless. For those who don't know what Speechless is, Speechless is a show about a kid with cerebral palsy who goes to a public high school like I did. Only he's nonverbal, which is why it's called Speechless. Well, one of the reasons. In full disclosure, I didn't really watch it because I've already graduated from high school. I just thought it was a cool resource for other people, students in school, parents of people who have disabilities, family members, and the show taught its audience empathy. Really important. When I was in high school, I met a girl named Liz. Liz was the niece of my neighbor, and she lived in New Jersey, still does. Liz went to a public high school like I did, but she didn't have any friends. I mean, I was her friend, but she didn't have any friends at school. She got pushed down the stairs a lot because she had cerebral palsy. I don't have to say how unacceptable that is. If I were pushed down at my high school, my friends would have beat in the people who pushed me. And I'm glad it didn't happen, but I just don't like to hear about people being cruel to anyone. Life is cruel enough. And I think Speechless helped a lot of kids. I think it was funny, and it informed a lot of people who had no idea about what people with disabilities go through on a daily basis. A lot of people don't see people with disabilities regularly or at all. Now, the situation in Speechless isn't what everyone with a disability goes through. We are all individuals. I have cerebral palsy, and I never had an aid. There were no aids when I was in school because I predated educational aids. Here's what I'm saying. This show was about belonging. We all belong to a society, like it or not. And people with disabilities have the same wants, needs, hopes that everyone else has because we were all human. A lot of people with disabilities still live in institutions or are sheltered in different ways. People with disabilities have a more difficult time connecting with other people because even a simple speech impediment like I have makes it harder now that I'm an adult. But when I was in school, my smile, my sense of humor, made up for my speech deficit. Not everyone can do this. Micah Fowler has a speech impediment like mine in real life. But in Speechless, he plays J.J. DeMeo, a character who's nonverbal which means he doesn't talk. And he connects to his peers through an educational aide named Kenneth. And Kenneth is what I can relate to. I've been an aide three times in my life. Once in college when I was a note taker. When I was a note taker, I was a note taker because I wanted to help people and change minds. Yes, I got paid, but that wasn't the point. I already had a job writing for the Vice President for Student Affairs. I looked disabled, and me going to work as a note-taker for students who may not look disabled proves the point that I'm a person who wants to help others, and I need a job. And I have the same expectations as my non-disabled peers. I was an educational aide straight out of college 
And also, when I finished grad school at Dartmouth, I worked for a social service agency connecting people with disabilities with their community. This job most closely resembles J.J.'s aide, Kenneth. I was the voice for these people, sometimes, literally. This is the reason why I'm going to bat for Speechless, even though I wasn't a regular viewer. Speechless means empathy and acceptance. In the past few years, our American society has become more intolerant and downright meaner. And people with disabilities are one of the first groups to be further marginalized. Building up our empathy is part of the rebuilding of our nation. We need shows like Speechless to show us the way. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Have a great Mother's Day. Hug your mom. Have a great day.